something going on. I know there's a family on the other side of the woods. They made a video talking about how I could hear their music, which I didn't object to. I don't mind it. I like it. But apparently I got a copyright thing. So I guess that song was noticeable enough to... Uh, whatever. Set off some flag. It should be happy that uh, two people or one person actually heard it. <sighs> On my video. Well, more people listen. Anyway. Uh, had a couple of thoughts. Not about the gospel. What was the gospel today? I have to think about that one. But I was thinking about Marcus Aurelius and Stoicism and how it seems, some of it seems compatible. Some of the ideas seem compatible to Christianity, but I also was reading the saints. And while it's usually Di Diocletian, Diocletian, I think that's how you say it. And um, I can't think of the other emperors that did persecutions in the first 100, 200, 300 years of Christianity. But Marcus Aurelius does come up. So for a guy who says, don't worry about other people, don't, don't, you know, let them be. I guess that's easy if you're the emperor. If I'm the, if you're the emperor and say, well, I don't want to let those people bother me because I'll have to go out and persecute them and kill them all. Well, that doesn't seem very... Mm, man, you should smell this. It smells like a like a bathroom urinal cake. In a good way. In a good way. You know? Mm, what is this? Let's see. I guess that's what it is. That smell. And then there's so many flowers. Everything is overgrown. It's time to mow. So, um... Anyway, I, I thought that interesting. I'm sure it's the same Marcus Aurelius who, uh, you know, lets things roll off his back, but not Christianity, boy. He definitely persecuted the Christians. You think it's time to mow this? See if you can find Toby in there. Come on, Toby. He's out there. This is a jungle for him. Literally, he's walking through a jungle. Well, now he's squatting, but anyway, the other thing I wanted to, I was thinking about every day I get an advertisement for money from Donald Trump every day. And occasionally I get one of those advertisements from Joe Biden. And I, try, I clip them both off as quickly as I, as so you can push skip. If I could, I would donate to Trump because, well, let's face it, I think we're supposed to vote the less, okay, don't quote me, I think we're supposed to vote, if we have to vote of two evils, we vote the lesser of the two evils. And an old man who thinks that it's okay to kill babies clearly has dementia at this point. That guy's not, not safe to be, what's that? Um, that guy has lost it. And so was the whole Democratic Party. There's no morality there at all. I mean, when a woman's pregnant, she's not pregnant with a pineapple. She's pregnant or, or with a giraffe or with a, with a, a, a ninja. Uh, what do you call it? Ninja star. She's pregnant with a human being. So that's clearly human life that you're killing. And not human life as in like a tumor or just whatever. Anyway, that is clearly human life. It's a baby. Even a child looks and goes, look, mommy, that lady's having a baby. She's a mommy, blah, blah, blah. If a child can see that a woman pregnant is having a baby, then what's our problem? And lastly, I wanna close that uh, when it comes to Joe Biden, just want to say, I, if it weren't for his uh, social security detail, I'd take him out to the woods and find a nice log and, and beat the hell out of him. So, yeah, and it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke.
It's a poor, okay, so I didn't work, okay. I can do better. I can do a better Biden impersonation. But that guy is, is, <sighs> so he's a Catholic, huh? So he's supposed to realize that abortion is wrong, but for the sake of votes, let, let's be real. It's for the sake of votes. Because he knows he loses a huge percentage of the women vote. And the Democrats literally have abortion in their policy, in their, uh, what is it? Ah, what is that called? Mission statement. Literally, it's in their mission statement that they are pro-abortion. And he doesn't want to lose those votes. So for the sake, I, you know, Joe, you're 80-something, right? You're going to be dying at some point. You might want to think of the afterlife. Because you can't actually go in public and say abortion is, is a right for a woman. And then in your heart or in your mind or, you know, when you pray, say that I don't agree with abortion. Because that's not going to float, Joe. You should know that. You're, you're such a great Catholic. You pray the rosary. I mean, you pray the rosary, Joe. So you know that you can't pull this off. You know what's going to happen when you die. If you still have a mind and you can still rationalize, if you can still use your logic, I don't know how this is looking because I've just turned the camera around. If you can still use any logic, Joe, please start thinking, using your head because you're not going to be around forever. And once you're gone, it's too late to change. It's too late. Joe, you're a great Catholic. You're a really terrific Catholic. You know what's going to happen when you die. You know where you're going simply because you know the teaching of the church. Because you're a great Catholic, Joe. You pray the rosary. So, you know, I, you know, folks, it really just doesn't make any sense. It's, it really doesn't make sense. It's totally illogical. The man says he's a Catholic, and then in the public eye, he's telling everyone the abortion is okay, and that's not okay. Toby? That's just not okay. Joe? As much as I like to take you out to the woods and bait the hell out of you, and you know what? He's a pretty big guy. I'm not a, I'm a shorter guy, so yeah, I've got age... I'm better in age, but he's a big guy. He's a, he's a, didn't he work as a blue collar worker back in uh, wherever, Connecticut? And uh, he did all those, uh, he, he was quite the athlete. Well, I gotta get that poison ivy down. I gotta cut that vine of poison ivy and then it's all gonna drop down. Anyway, uh, yeah, so little silliness today. Remember to ask the saints to pray for us, to pray for Joe Biden and all the Catholics who claim to, all the people claiming that they are Catholics or good Catholics and then voting in the public. That's called scandal. That is the definite, that is classic example of scandal. So for all the Catholics voting for abortion in the public eye, politicians that is, How is it that I can understand this and you can't? You guys are smart guys, right? You're all millionaires. All of you are millionaires, so you're, you're clever enough to get millions, right? And yet. So let's uh, pray for the souls in purgatory and ask the saints to pray for us.